It's a brisk fall day in Morgantown, and winter will soon be on its way. This is West Virginia University, and students at the Statler College of Engineering and Mineral Resources are busy with classes. But even earlier this morning, around 6 a.m., Core Safety TV found some of them out here. Today, this class of mining engineering students is learning about the National Mining Association, courtesy of a visit from Paul Krivikucha, the NMA's Vice President of Health and Safety. Really what I'd like to do today is I'd like to talk about the National Mining Association, who we are, what we do. Krivikucha is also telling the class about core safety, which he manages. And for some of these students, mine safety is exactly what they were focusing on out here. Currently, this will be the, the younger team. This is the newest group we have practicing with us this morning. So they're, they're learning the ropes, trying to figure out which way's up and which way's down. They're doing a pretty decent job this morning. We're proud of them. These are mechanical students, mining engineering students, civil engineering students. We have a forestry major, so we're pretty diverse with what their course of study is. Put them together, make them communicate, do a little teamwork, leadership activities, see what we can get out of them. The WVU Mining Extension Service opened back in 1913 to extend its resources and expertise to coal miners in West Virginia and ultimately all over the country. The idea has always been to train students and miners on how to safely work in mining, equipping them with technical expertise that is taught by professionals who bring real-world experience to the table. The Academy for Mine Training and Energy Technologies is where this training takes place. It opened back in 2009 on land donated by Consol Energy, about 10 miles west from WVU out in the hills in Core, West Virginia. It's more commonly known as Dolls Run, and this is a simulated mine facility that's about as hands-on as you can get without being in an actual mine. Josh Brady is the current Mining Extension Director. In the last year alone, he and his staff have worked with more than 21 different mining companies. They've taught and certified an average of 3,000 miners a year. And they've brought their expertise to the mining engineering curriculum while training 25 mine rescue teams. These students are from the two WVU collegiate teams who train three days a week starting at 6 a.m. So what, what activity were they doing? So this morning we had a problem set up. The, the way that works for the Eastern Collegiate Mine Rescue Group, we're working with a set of coal rules. So you have the coal and metal, non-metal, those have since again divided. And we're working with a set of coal rules. And what we'll do is set a problem in the parking lot, like a typical mine rescue problem. And so we, they'll have so many breaks, so many cross cuts, and, and you just set up for them a mock mine disaster that they've got to communicate back to a briefing officer. From a collegiate team standpoint, Brady knows the students have been doing a good job at mine rescue contest. Um, we have been very successful over the past few years. We've picked up a lot of wins. I think the number is somewhere around 15 of the last 18 contests we've entered. But Brady is also the first to say that participating in mine rescue contest alone isn't enough when it comes to really being prepared. We, we fully believe that in order to be successful, you need to be doing a skills-based, hands-on, legitimate training. Whether that's working with gas detection, anemometers, fire hose, nozzles, the apparatus, being exposed to the heat in the environment, which is, is our core of what we're accomplishing here. We feel like that is legitimate mine rescue training to get us prepared, to be physically fit, mentally prepared, communicate actively while you're trying to mimic what that emotion is going to look like in, a, in an environment with smoke and in the dark. 
Still, for these students, the combination of hands-on training with classroom instruction from mining professionals who walk the walk and talk the talk is about as real world as they can get at this point. And the advantages certainly aren't lost on them either. I had never heard of mining engineer until I had gotten here. But as a freshman, they make you attend seminars, and I just so happened to attend the mining engineering one, and I absolutely fell in love with it just from that, and I actually went back and changed my major and have not regretted a single thing about it. So we get to use a lot of stuff that's actually used out in the real industry, and they expose us to a lot of classes. That sounds like uh, that's really gonna play well with your future, especially getting, moving into the mining industry. Any particular area you'd like to move into? I would like to move into underground coal. That's where I see myself throughout my industry. Be sure to watch Core Safety TV in the coming months when we'll tell you more about the WVU Mining Extension Program, the Academy of Mine Training, and the exciting future that's in store for these WVU students and others. In the meantime, thanks for watching and please be safe out there.